started with go-karts when I was 12. In those days, you couldn't start any earlier. And then I switched to cars when I was 18. I've done a lot of single-seaters, Formula 3, Formula 2, Formula 3000, Formula 1. And when I retired from Formula 1, I joined um, Audi. With Audi, I won five times the Le Mans 24 hours. And I still keep the same passion as I had when I was a kid. All the personnel from Edison 2 come from motorsports. I was actually racing in the, the Grand Am Rolex Sports Car Series down at Virginia International Raceway. Oliver Kuttner came down and uh, offered me the job. I know I have a really good team. Well, uh, my family's pretty much uh, has won the Indy 500 nine times. My father's won it four, my uncle's won it three, and I've won it twice. Uh, we've had 20 plus years of, of IndyCar racing and uh, speeds reaching over 230 miles an hour. Uh, I started autocrossing and, and had some successes there. I was a regional champion two years in a row. So I decided to bump up to road racing. Uh, I road raced pretty strong for about uh, 10 years, 10 or 12 years, and I won the national championship twice doing that. In 1992, I started running um, stock cars on asphalt at the local short tracks in Virginia. Later on, I got into a uh, road racing series, and that was probably the most fun of, of all the races. We took people from all different environments in the automotive industry, electrical industry, and uh, everybody's in it to win it, and that's, uh, it's just awesome to really get a group of guys that work together that well. I think there's a lot of mutual respect amongst the teams. Everybody in this final uh, has a leg to stand on. I mean, they're all that caliber, and what happens is they get attracted to the right project. In the racing industry, you're always uh, pushing the car to the absolute limit. You're looking for performance, you're looking for speed, uh, down the straightaway and handling in the corner. And you're looking for the minimum lap time that you can get. We're doing the same thing, but we're looking at efficiency. We're looking for fuel consumption. You have to use the throttle like, like a feather, very, very light, very low revs, and, and you have to know your engine, your car, uh, the electronics, how the engine works, where the engine likes to be, to be run. So it, it's a very fine alchemy, and it requires a lot of concentration. When you're driving the car through any of these events, the intensity and the focus is exactly the same as racing. In fact, people have asked me, what is it? I said, it's automobile gymnastics. Seeing how several people got knocked out in like the lane change event or, or the stopping uh, from 60, there was probably uh, an advantage to somebody having driving experience. We've got uh, plenty of power here. Um, you know, the braking is very good. Uh, the acceleration is very good, you know, it's just, uh, it's that simple. No one in Detroit, or at least that I had worked with, had ever developed a vehicle really trying to maximize efficiency. And 100 miles per gallon equivalent is a, a daunting task. It's pushing lighter weight materials, new technologies and powertrains, uh, new mindsets in the construction of vehicles, and, and you have to break some of the paradigms. It's raised our game. The X Prize has opened the door to make advancements in this industry and really start setting some standards and really getting people to understand what, what's out there and what's gonna be out there. Whatever happens in the competition, I'm really proud to say that I drove for them. It's really, really been a treat and very interesting for me. When this competition is over, I'm sure it'll be something I remember for the rest of my life.